I want to show you how to use analysis cubes in Dynamics GP. It's really quite simple and allows you to have a very nice reporting and analysis tool. Analysis cubes allows you to export data from the SQL Server analysis cube set up with the GP data in it and put it into an Excel spreadsheet. From there you can use Excel to analyze that data, report on that data any way you'd like. To get the cube set up and to pull data out of it, let's go to Tools and then Analysis Cubes down here. I'm going to create a pivot table. Now I've set up some standard pivot table templates already. And all this does is really allows the system to take the data from the Analysis Cube and throw it into Excel. And really, it doesn't matter which field you use in here, as long as you have some fields. Because when it goes to Excel, you have the ability to go back and pull any field that you want to from that particular cube. Now here's the cube that I have set up. I've got customers on the left hand side, I've got time periods at the top, and they have the extended price down here. So this is actually a fairly decent report. Um, you can see that the time periods here are months, they're not dates, and that's one of the value of having analysis cubes connected to the GP data is that when it goes over to the analysis cube, it's going to add dimensions such as date, quarter, year, that data is not normally in GP, though the date is. So I've got this data table here, and what I can do is I can just use it as it is. I can also change it. So for example, over here I've got a number of values, and what I really want to do is I'm going to add to this the item number. I've got my items here, and this item number is already being used as a filter over here. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull the item description down by the customer, and this will allow me to see which customers purchased which items. And I can always get rid of this table over here and bring it back just by clicking on the worksheet and hit, hitting show field list. It'll come right back. So this shows me how I can easily change the fields. And I can change them back. I can just change the order of them. It'll change the pivot table. And you can see now I've got for every particular item which customers purchased that item and what the extended price of the sales order invoice was. So this can be a very handy tool, especially for analysis. And what's nice about this tool is I can save the spreadsheet, I can send it to people. And one of the values of using analysis cubes within Dynamics GP is that when it creates the Excel spreadsheet, it automatically creates a connection, a data connection to that cube. Here it is right here. Let's take a, take a quick look at it so you can see that connection here. So the connection will stay with the worksheet. So if you want to refresh it, you can refresh it anytime you want to. You can also, like I said earlier, you can send it to other people. So it becomes a good tool that you can share with other people within your organization. Let's look at some of the other features here. I have a filter based on the item number. If I just want to look at a few items instead of all of them, I can easily do that. And I'm just going to select the ones I want. Select those. And now I'm just looking at that information. You can see I've got those items here. I can always go back into the list and say I want to get rid of that item description. I'll just pull it off the table and there it goes. Let's use all, go back to all the years here. I have a similar thing on the months. I can select all the months or just a few months. So it's really a handy tool for analysis and for reporting. And if you want, you can add additional information here. You can also easily create graphs. I just want to create a graph from this. Go like this, add that graph in. It already knows which material it wants, which items it wants to pull, and that data is right here in the report filter. So I really recommend that you learn how to use the pivot tables. Analysis Cubes is a regular part of the BRL licensing, specifically the Advanced Management Suite. And it gives you a real insight into your data, and I recommend it.